Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System project tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can implement a HTML template for our front view. So this is the template we are going to implement in our project, in our Laravel project and the template download link will be given in the description. Uh, so I'll give this link in the description. From here, we'll basically download our template. So in order to download this template, I need to click on code and then here you can see download Z. So I'll click on download Z. And it will start downloading. And here you can see the download is complete. So let me just go to the download location. And there you can see. So let me just cut it from here. Control X. And let me go to the uh, new volume D over here. And I'll just paste the zip file over here that we just downloaded. And we need to extract this zip. So in order to extract it, we need to right click over here. And then here we have extract all option. So I'll click on extract all. Then I'll remove this from here and I will extract a zip file in new volume D. So I will right now click on extract. So here you can see it is extracting the zip file and the extract is complete. So here you can see the downloaded template. So here you can see get 1.0.0. So we will go inside and here you can see index file. So whenever you download a template from online, the first file should always be the index. Okay, so index.html. So if I now double click over here, here you can see this is the template that we just downloaded. So right now we're going to add this template to our project. So in order to add this template to our project, first of all, uh, what we are going to do is that we'll go to our, uh, we'll go to our uh, this File location will go inside, then here you can see Keto 1.0.0. Again, we'll go inside, and here you can see everything uh, CSS, font, images, JS. We are going to copy everything or every folder, every file from here. So, Ctrl C. And right now, what we are going to do is that we will go to our project, Laravel project, and paste those file in the public folder. So our Laravel project was over here. You can see our project name was hotel underscore project. So we just go inside the public folder and inside public folder, whatever file we just copy it from here, we'll paste it inside the public folder. So we'll just paste it. Here you can see CSS font images, JS and all the file over here. So right now, if we refresh, obviously nothing will happen because we did not make any changes in our code. So right now, let's go back to our code and uh, we'll just directly go to our routes, then web.php. And here you can see route get for the root view, it is calling the welcome view. And the welcome view is this one. So instead of welcome, we will redirect the view to a different view. So uh, for it, first of all, Let's go inside our resource views and inside views, let's create a folder. Uh, let's create a new folder. Here you can see new folder option. We'll click on new folder and we'll name it home. And inside home, let's create a index.blade.php. So we'll right click on whole folder, then click new file. And we're going to say here index.blade.php. Control S and then save. So right now, what we are going to do is that let's say over here just a normal HTML dash and inside the body, let's say here, home page. Save it and let's go to our web.php which is in the routes. So here you can see a route gate for this root view is of welcome. We are going to say this home folder name. We are going to mention the home folder name. Then inside whole folder, we have index.blade.php. So we'll say here index. So right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh here, you can see for the root view, we are getting this home page view, which is basically index.blade.php, this one. So right now, as I mentioned that every template start with index file. So here in the public folder, here you can see uh, we paste some file and folder 
from the template and here you can see in the public folder we have index.html so we are going to copy everything from this index.html so control a control c and we will paste it in the views form index.blade.php over here so we will remove whatever we have over here and we will paste all the code uh, from our public index.html okay so we will paste it over here then right now if we just save this and if we now refresh over here there you can see we are able to get the view in our home view or in our root view so right now obviously uh, let me just go to web.php so obviously this is not a proper way to write our routes so what we are going to do is that we are going to write it properly we are going to return the view using a controller so we will say here route double clone get to first bracket to single quotation slash and our controller name will be uh, for example let's say admin controller so we will give to third bracket we will say here admin controller double clone class comma with single quotation and our function name will be let's say home okay that's fine so let's save this and I already mentioned the admin controller at the top and I also get the admin controller as you know so let's save this and let's go to our admin controller and in the admin controller we create a function called home so we say here public function home to first bracket then to second bracket and this home function is basically this one okay so in this function we'll just return a view we'll say here return view to first bracket to single quotation and it will be home dot index home is our folder name and index is our file name index save it so basically what will happen is that whenever someone just go to our website in that root view it will call our home function and our home function will return us this view home dot index which is basically this one this is the code from the templates index.html file okay so let's save it let's refresh there won't be any changes we will be able to see our template over here properly so right now let's go and organize our template so in order to organize our template what we need to do is uh, let me just show you how we can separate each section in this code so uh, for the example here you can see the head section so what we are going to do is that whatever we have inside the head section we are going to keep it in a different file so let me just cut it from here control x and inside this head we are going to say here at the head of include to first bracket to single quotation uh, okay before this let me just show you how this will look uh, since we remove the head section code all the css and js link so right now if we just save it then if we now refresh here you can see that everything looks kind of weird there is no css for our website so right now what we are going to do is uh, we will write here include to first bracket to single quotation we we'll say here home dot css so uh, we do not have any css dot dot php in the home folder so we are going to create it so we will right click on our home folder click new file we we'll say here css dot dot php Control S and then save. Control A or is, let me just remove it and whatever we just copied in the head section, we'll just paste it over here in the css.blade.php. So control V, control S. So right now, whatever code we have in the css.blade.php will have access in this index.blade.php. Okay. So let's save it and right now if we refresh okay let me just check it the css didn't or okay i did a spelling mistake mistake it will be include i give double e here so right now let me just refresh again and there you go the css design is working properly so right now let's go and separate other sections like uh, slider or blog or uh, room images okay so here you can see body inside body uh, this is the slider section I mean the header section here you can see headers closing here so let me just cut the header section from here 
control x and we say here at the end of include to first bracket to single quotation we say here home dot header so right now we did not create any header dot bait dot php in the home folder so right now if we just save it and if we now refresh it will give us an error that home dot header not found so let's go and create it so in the home we'll create a new file and we'll say here header dot let.php control s and then save and whatever code we copied from the header section we'll just paste it over here save it then refresh and everything is working perfectly so after header let's separate the slider about us our room gallery blog message bar and the footer section so right now I'm going to do everything just in on go. So this is the slider section here you can see banner main. So I'll just directly remove this here you can see in banner. So control X I'm going to say here at the end of include to file bracket to single version of home dot. Let's say slider. Let's create here slider dot let.php control s and then save so over here we are going to copy the code whatever we copied from the slider control v and control s so let's do the same for the about section let me just cut the about section from here and we say here at the end of include to first bracket to single version home dot about Let's create a file here. We we'll say here about dot lead dot php control s and then save. So we'll paste the about section code here. Let's save it here and here. And let's check whether we are able to see the slider and about section properly. So let me just refresh here. And let's go top. Here you can see about section and this is the slider section so our rule section so right now we'll separate this as well so let's go back and here this is our rule section so let me just cut it from here control x and and here let me just give some equal sign let me just save it so right now if we just refresh here uh, there you can see our room section is gone, but there is now equal sign. So let's go back and let's write here at the end of include to first bracket to single quotation home dot. Let's say room. Save it. In the home folder, we'll say here room dot lay dot php control s save paste the code for the room save it and uh, this is the gallery section let's also separate the gallery control x at the end of include to single quotation home dot gallery let's create a gallery file here gallery dot plate dot php control s and then save gallery port and the last one will be this is the blog section let's also uh, cut it from here okay let's just remove the block from here we do not require any block here let's just keep the contagas section there you can see contagas so control x at the end of include home dot let's say contact let's create a file here contract dot blade dot php control s save control a control b control s so the last one will be the footer section. I'll just remove everything for the footer section. Uh, we'll also copy the skip code with the footer section. So control X and we'll say here at the end of include home dot footer. Save it and let's go and create footer footer dot let dot php control S save paste the footer code save it and there you go so we separate every section in our project in the index.blade.php so what this will help us is that this will help us easily read our code and 
whenever we need to make changes we can easily go to a certain location and make any changes so this will make our work a lot easier so let's save it and right now let's just refresh and let me just check whether everything is working properly and there you can see everything is over over here every css design and everything so this is how you can integrate a html template in your laravel projects i hope this tutorial is useful to you so thanks for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials